Good Samaritan helps police nab a pair of would-be burglars. Alexa Ashwell spoke with the hero. She's live with the details. Alexa. Michelle, this man did what area police have been asking from residents to be aware. Now, thanks to him, two men are in custody and a date neighborhood is a little safer. By definition, a neighborhood watch involves a group of residents who keep watch over one another's houses. Such an organization does not exist in this Webster Street neighborhood, but that didn't stop Isaac Wood Jr. from doing the right thing. I see two individuals uh, breaking into this white house, climbing through the window. Right here. Wood was driving through the alley when he spotted two men breaking into this house at 738 Webster Street. Immediately, he called police, who quickly arrived. They jumped out the window and started running down through the alley here. So that's when I told him, I said, Here they go, here they go. So he came this way. And by that time, another cop came around this way through the alley, and they caught one person. That person, 31-year-old Josh McIntosh, who, according to police, is also wanted for felony larceny. Officers later caught the second suspect, 49-year-old Dan Noble, who police say just got out of jail for aggravated robbery. Both now are charged with breaking and entering. Officers noticed the uh, number of tools and, and an old computer that was set by the window. Uh, it looked like they were also trying to get uh, copper and wiring that were, was also inside the house. Police are commending the Good Samaritan for his quick thinking. He was keeping track of what's going on in his neighborhood, uh, spotted these individuals looking around the house, knew they didn't belong there, and then called the police right away once he saw them go inside the house. If I see somebody breaking in my house, I want them to call too. Now, a mother of one of the suspects was also taken into custody for questioning. Police now do not believe she was involved. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.